becoming basics. Dear children, you all know that to communicate with each other, you need some language. Similarly, to communicate with a computer, you need a computer language. Computer language consists of a set of words, symbols and codes that is used to write a computer program. In this chapter, we are going to study about how to write a program in stepwise manner. Introduction to Programming Humans can understand a variety of spoken languages, English, Hindi, Punjabi, etc. Whereas computers cannot understand these languages. Computers understand only one language, that is the machine language. Let us understand it in the following manner. If someone asks you to add 8 plus 5, you will quickly give the answer 13. But if the same question is asked from the computer, it will not be able to answer this. This is because your instruction is not understood by the computer. It can understand the instructions given in computer language. The set of instructions written in a language which a computer can understand is called a program. Whenever you have to solve any problem or to do any work, you have to follow a step-by-step -step procedure so that you can get the best results for it. In the same way, a computer also solves its problems in a step-by-step -step procedure to give you accurate results. An algorithm and a flowchart help us create a computer program in a step-by-step -step manner. Basically, a computer program involves three steps. Algorithm, creating an algorithm. Flowchart, making a flowchart. Program, converting a flowchart into a program. Algorithm, all the software programs are written in special languages called computer languages. They follow a specific pattern of steps to achieve specific objectives. Before writing a program, we have to determine the objective and then we start developing a pattern of steps. An algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure to solve any particular task such as a mathematical or a logical problem. Let us understand it by an example. What steps would you follow to buy a shirt? The possible steps are as follows. Take money and go to the garments shop in the market. Tell the shopkeeper which color and style of shirt you want. Choose and finalize the desired shirt. Pay money to the shopkeeper. Take the balance amount if any from the shopkeeper. Finally, you get the desired result that is purchase of a new shirt. More examples of algorithm. An algorithm to add any two numbers. Step 1. Start. Step 2. Take two numbers. Step 3. Add the two numbers. Step 4. Print the result. Step 5. Stop. This is an algorithm to add two numbers. An algorithm to find the greater number of the two. Step 1. Start. Step 2. Take two numbers A and B. Step 3. Compare these two numbers. If A is greater than B, then go to step 4 or else go to step 6. Step 4. Print A is greater. Step 5. Stop. Step 6. Print B is greater. Step 7. Go to step 5. This is an algorithm to find the greater number of the two. Flowchart. A flowchart is a diagrammatic representation of a problem solving process that is algorithm. It is called a flowchart as it charts the flow of a program. The direction of flow in a flowchart is always from top to bottom. 
Herman Goldstein and John von Neumann developed a flowchart, originally a diagram to plan computer programs. In a flowchart, each operation is represented using specific geometrical symbols. These symbols are connected to each other by arrows to show the operations. Following are some basic symbols that are used while making a flowchart. Start stop box. It is an oval shaped symbol which is used at the beginning and at the end of the flowchart. It shows the starting and ending of a flowchart. Input output box. It is a parallelogram shaped box that is used to indicate the input and output of a program. That is the instructions related to the input and getting the result. Processing box. It is a rectangle shaped box that is used to show the processing part of the flowchart like calculation. Decision box. It is a rhombus shaped box that is used to check the conditions, display comparisons and take the decisions to solve the problems. Flow lines. These are the arrow lines used to connect the different shapes and show the flow of logic in a flow chart. Connectors. It is a circle shaped symbol that is used to join the parts of a flow chart. Advantages of flowchart Flowchart helps in analyzing the problem in a more effective way. It is a better way of communicating the logic of a system. It acts as a guide during the program development phase. It helps in finding out errors. Disadvantages of flowchart Sometimes the flowchart becomes complex if the program logic is long. If you want to change something in the flowchart, you have to redraw it. Rules for making a flowchart There are some rules that should be followed while making a flowchart. While drawing a proper flowchart, all necessary requirements should be listed out in a logical order. The flowchart should be clear, neat and easy to follow. Only one flow line should be used in conjunction with terminal symbol. The direction of flow in a flow chart should be from top to bottom or from left to right. Avoid the intersection of flow lines if you want to make it more effective and better. If the flow chart becomes complex, it is better to use connector symbols to reduce the number of flow lines. Examples Converting an algorithm into a flowchart Algorithm Step 1 Start Step 2 Wake up in the morning Step 3 Go to washroom Step 4 Brush your teeth Step 5 Take a bath Step 6 Wear your school uniform Step 7 Have your breakfast Step 8 Take your tiffin. Step 9. Go to your school. Step 10. Stop. Here is the flowchart in front of you. Converting an algorithm into a flowchart for adding two numbers. Algorithm. Step 1. Start. Step 2. Take two numbers. Step 3. Add the two numbers. Step 4. Print the result. Step 5. Stop. Flowchart. Start the beginning of flowchart. Input. Give two numbers to computer. Processing. Give instruction to calculate. Output. The result is displayed. Stop. The end of flowchart. Program. Normally, an algorithm is first represented as a flowchart and the flowchart is then expressed in a programming language to prepare a computer program. Preparing a computer program is the last step in solving a problem which is written in the computer language to get the desired result. Let us study about it. Computer Language 
A computer understands the instructions given to it in its language, that is, machine language. This language uses binary digits 0 and 1, but it is difficult for the programmers to write their programs directly in terms of these digits. Therefore, some other computer languages have been developed in which writing programs is easier. A computer language, also known as programming language, is a special language understood by the computers. It consists of a set of words, symbols and codes that is used to write a computer program. A program is a set of instructions given to a computer to get a particular task done. The process of writing a program is called programming. The people who can write programs are called programmers. However, a computer cannot understand these languages directly. So, some special software programs have also been developed which translate the program written in other languages into machine language. Categories of Computer Languages there are a number of computer languages available nowadays. Computer languages are classified into two major categories. Low-level language LLL, machine language, assembly language. High-level language HLL, procedural language, non-procedural language, natural language. Computer language Low-level language, machine language, first-generation language, 1GL, assembly language, second-generation language, 2GL, high-level language, procedural language, the third-generation language, 3GL, non-procedural language, fourth-generation language, 4GL, natural language, fifth-generation language, 5GL. Low-level languages Low-level languages are written to run on a particular computer and cannot be easily used on other computers. Machine language A machine language, also called first-generation language, is a language directly understood by a computer without any translation. It refers to zeros and ones that a computer can understand as instructions. Due to this reason, it is also called low-level language LLL. Limitations of machine language Machine language programs run only on the computer for which they have been developed. That is, they are machine dependent. Machine language programs are not portable to other computers. Assembly language Assembly language, also called second generation language, is also a low level programming language. An assembly language uses letters and symbols instead of using numbers, ones and zeros. A program written in assembly language uses short sequence of letters called mnemonic codes like ADD for addition, CMP for comparison. LDA for loading and MUL for multiplying. Assembly language program is the source program which must be translated into machine language before the computer can understand it. An assembler is a program used to translate assembly language into machine language so that the computer can understand it. Mnemonics, assembly language, input, Assembler, Output, Machine Language, 011-01001 High-Level Languages A high-level language, HLL, has instructions which are almost similar to English language used by us. It is very user-friendly and resembles the language that we use. It is much easier to understand and write a program in this language. HLL is machine independent. A program written in HLL can be used on almost all the computers without any change.
Interpreter and compiler are the two programs used to translate high level language into machine language so that the computer can understand it. Three main categories of high level languages are Procedural language A procedural language is also called the third generation language 3GL. In this language, the programmer writes instructions that tell the computer what to accomplish and how to do it. This language uses English-like words to make it easy for the programmer to write the program. For example, add for addition or print to print. Many third generation languages also use arithmetic operators such as asterisks for multiplication and plus for addition. The 3GL is also called the source program which must be translated into machine language before the computer can understand it. A compiler or an interpreter is a program which is used to perform the translation for third generation languages. See, BASIC, COBOL and FORTRAN are the examples of 3GL. Non-procedural language A non-procedural language is also called the fourth generation language 4GL. In this language, the programmer only specifies what the program should accomplish without explaining how. It uses English-like statements. In fact, 4GLs are so easy to use that users with very little programming background can develop programs using the fourth generation language. It is also a source program which must be translated into machine language with the help of compiler or interpreter. Visual Basic, Java, etc. are the examples of 4GL. Natural Language A natural language, sometimes called the fifth generation language 5GL, is a type of query language that allows the user to enter requests that resemble human speech. Natural languages are often associated with expert systems and artificial intelligence. These systems are popular in the medical field. Language Processor a language processor is a software that converts source program into machine language because a computer does not understand the program written in HLL or assembly language. It understands only machine language. Compilers and interpreters are the examples of language processors. Compiler a compiler converts the entire HLL program into machine language at once and also displays errors for the whole program together. Interpreter Interpreter converts one line of program at a time. It displays error of one line at a time and goes to next line only after correction of that error.